We would like to know if the sequence ln of 2n squared plus 1 minus ln of n squared plus 1 converges or not. So, what happens if n goes to infinity? Let's do a quick check. If n goes to infinity inside, we will have 2 times infinity squared plus 1, which is infinity. ln infinity, the result of that will be infinity. Likewise, if you have n goes to infinity right here, you will have infinity inside. ln of infinity is also infinity. But then, this is infinity minus infinity situation. Congratulations, we have to do more work. Because we cannot draw any conclusion yet. And usually, we will have to rely on L'Hopital's rule. So let's go ahead and change the n to x. And we'll say, as x goes to infinity, and I'll write this down as ln of 2x squared plus 1 minus ln of x squared plus 1. First, by the property of ln, we know this right here. Uh, it's the same as saying ln of this over that, right? Because right here we have subtraction. So we can write this down as 2x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. And you can legally put equal sign right here. Doesn't matter, okay? And now, if you look at this right here, ln of this thing inside, if x goes to infinity, the inside is a rational uh, function, right? So we can just look at the highest power of x on the top and the highest power of x on the bottom. Those are the things that matters. So it's pretty much just this and that. The one, the one, doesn't matter. And we can say this right here will approach to ln of 2x squared over x squared. And we see that x squared, x squared cancel. So now what? This right here approaches to ln of 2. And that's it. This right here will be limit. ln2 is about 0 0.693, and it's finite. This right here will be the limit for this sequence. So we can say this sequence converges because we have a finite value for the sequence, a finite value for the limit of the sequence, and converges to ln2. And this right here is it.